in there, you see the proximity of modern office buildings. This is your portal out to that mess. There's the new kiosk. And signs of thawing here and there. And the actual trails are snowed in. Looking down the line of bike rocks. A dog walker off in the distance. And the bridge is clear. They created a little stone amphitheater now draped in a bit of snow where one could conceivably Engage in impromptu performances alongside the water area. Looks like it drains well and the ice snow melts fairly quickly. Cross this, work my way over to the observation platform, which also appears to be forlorn and neglected at this time of the waning of winter. Now there's a snazzy comfy bench. <laughs> Look. It's dry, it drains perfectly. Uh-oh, we had a couple of appreciative geese. To <laughs> think of all the expense that has been applied to their accommodations. Don't think they aren't grateful. You can kind of hear the hum of what passes for industry. From the look of it, I bet that's some kind of biotech firm. I think that thing over there may be the new location of Quicken. Whoever puts them out, my friend works there now. Into it. name. <coughs> so yeah, there's some use. This trail's sort of workable, even for an old putt in inappropriate shoes. There's our belted kingfisher element. Wow. 
sycamore, yep. A young sycamore with its pom pommy things. Plaintive cry of the late season blue jay. They'll all be putting on new colors soon as the pre spring molt begins. onward to the viewing platform we go as I waddle and toddle and totter through the snow. There in the distance one can see the Alewife Brook with the absence of foliage everything stands out. You can see its channel and it's got a bulwark of inhospitable thorns to discourage all but the most intrepid. And it's just such a place where you're going to find Woodcock. If you're going to find one in Cambridge, it would probably be here. We'll have to see if there's any nasal painting afoot. Paint